Okay, this short video is going to show you how to do um, formant graphs in Microsoft Excel. You will have data just like the ones you see here for various vowels E, 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 and so on. And these are the first and second formant respectively. If you just click on any of the cells and go to Einfugen, insert, um, the diagram and the graph that you want to include is uh, just one for points and just the most simple one here. Um, now you don't see anything, what you've got to do is click the right mouse button and select data. Um, you can simply hinzufügen add data points and then simply by choosing to click on the various cells you'll be able to uh, work with that. First you want to work with E, so that's going to show up under Reihenname here, and then the only important thing to remember is that the X values are the second form values, so F2, and for first form the Y values you've got to delete this and just click on first form, then click on OK, click OK, and now you already see it. Um, the next thing you need to do is right click this, the axis, and format that. And for the format that we're used to, we're just going to select Werte in umgekehrte Reihenfolge, which is just going to reverse the numbers. And we're going to do the same thing for the x axis, Werte in umgekehrte Reihenfolge. Okay, so you just moved up to the axis, right click and form an axis. Okay, now we're already almost there. Uh, what you can also do is just add further data points by again doing a right click, select data, add, and then do the same thing with E. We need the x value, which is going to be F2, and here this. We can delete and select F1. That's fine. And now we can already see the relative difference between long E and short E. Um, probably one final thing. If you click on an axis, and let's say it's not really useful to start with 0 up to 200 hertz in this respect, because we've got the highest files anyway. You go to Axiformity and, and the minimum that we can start with is say 200 hertz and it starts at 200 hertz and if you click on the main part of the diagram and right click you can also forward that for example fill it just with a single color say a light shade of grey to get a better contrast okay and that's pretty much it